I believe this morning. I believe that you are here. I believe that you have a plan. I believe that you've only just begun in that plan this morning. I believe that you're stirring something up amongst your people. I believe that you deserve to be honored and glorified. And I believe that you are going to move mightily in this place this morning. I believe if there is a broken heart this morning that you will mend that heart. I believe if there's a broken body this morning that, Father God, you will heal that vessel. I believe if there's a broken heart. Jesus' name.
Jesus. 
in this house today, Lord. We feel your presence here, Lord Jesus. The way that we prepare the way of the Lord is by preparing ourselves first. And the way that we prepare the way of the Lord is by laying down our life in worship to him. Church, I invite you up to the altar today to worship the Lord. If you came today and want to prepare the way of the Lord, come come running to the altar and lay yourself down in worship. Prepare yourself for when the Lord comes. Thank you, Jesus. We invite your presence.
we trust you. We trust you with everything. We trust you with our past. We trust you with our present. We trust you with our future, Lord. No one knows the future but you, Father. And when we trust you, we have no fear. We have no fear of what's to come because we know that your presence hovers over those that you love. You cover us in the shelter of your wings, Lord. And you continue to chase after us, Lord. There's nowhere we can run, there's nowhere we can hide outside of your presence. Everything hidden the Lord wants to reveal. He starts with us and he just calls his people to reveal those hidden things that need to be healed because just like Nathan said it's it's so important to start with us if we can't bring ourselves to the Lord humbly how are we ever going to bring others to the Lord if we don't understand what it is to have a relationship with him, how can we show others what it is to have a relationship with him? It's about attraction. It's about attraction. When the world looks at us, we have to be attractive to them.
what you're saying when you're singing, I won't relent until you have it all. It means I'm going to pursue God until he has it all. Amen. That he has all of me. Amen, amen, amen. And every time we come into the house of the Lord, that's our number one pursuit. He's always with us. We know that, right? But did you know that he comes among us? Jesus said that. He said when the Holy Spirit comes, he will be with you and in you. And the pursuit of not relenting is pursuing his presence, pursuing, pursuing his touch. And I just want to tell you today that the Lord wants you to know this morning. This is a word from the Lord. That it is our obligation, it is our responsibility as his church to pursue him every time we come together in the house of the Lord. God never fails. God is a keeper of his word. The Lord said when we come together, regardless if it's only two or three, he said, I will be there in the midst of them. And sometimes as a church, I just wonder if we're waiting for God to do something. When God is waiting for you to do something. As I was praying and worshiping in this corner over here, I just heard the Lord. I felt a, a tug in my soul by the Spirit of God. And he reminded me about the woman with the issue of blood. She knew that Jesus, the presence of the Lord, was coming by her way. Church, we know that the presence of God is in this place because His Word declares it. Yes. And sometimes we wait to feel the feeling. But she didn't wait to feel something. She pursued Him first. Hallelujah. Jesus was passing by and she didn't give up. Right. She didn't relent. Matter of fact, the Scripture kind of gives us the idea that she pushed her way through the crowd. Amen. Yes. She wasn't distracted by somebody else in her pew. Yes, Lord. Amen. Good word. She wasn't letting somebody else uh, keep her from her blessing. Amen. Yes. She said to herself, I know that if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be whole. And that's exactly what she did. She pushed her way through the crowd. She touched the very hem of his garment. And immediately, the, the, the healing virtue of the Lord was released. The presence of God was released. The blessing of the Lord was released. And she received a great miracle from God. I'm on the, the worship team. They've, they're doing their very best to get you to enter in. And some of you have and some of you are still in your pew thinking, I need something more. I'm speaking to someone today. Amen. I'm going to ask you one more time. Whatever it is, if you need refreshing, you need renewing, you need the joy of the Lord in your life back, we know how it is with our battles in the world. A lot of things start compressing itself against our mind. Yes. But greater is He. Come on, somebody. Amen. That is in us. That him that is in the world. I'm telling you today that if you will not be distracted, but if you'll believe God's word and give him your very best to reach out and touch the spirit of God in worship and in action, in worship and in action, God will release a power on you that only he can. Come on, let's worship the Lord.
hearted. 